world first. This RAF Voyager has taken to the skies powered by 100% sustainable aviation fuel. Most of the fuels that we use, um, certainly in aviation, are fossil fuels. Um, so they come from they come from oil. Um, sustainable aviation fuel, um, this particular type, is made from used cooking oil. This reduces the carbon emissions from the aircraft by up to 80%. Um, it's also got some other benefits because it reduces some of the other emissions that people might have seen in the news, like nitrous oxide, um, you know, which is proven to be not great um, for, for the environment and for people. So, uh, so it's pretty beneficial, really. But before being used, the cooking oil has to be processed into fuel suitable for jet engines. We break it down in a similar way to how biodiesel is broken down and then we go through uh, further processes such as hydro processing which just give the fuel a characteristic that's similar to kerosene which is the main component of the jet fuel that we use so that it performs in, in, in the jet as we want it to. And the benefits of using sustainable aviation fuel aren't only environmental. Synthetic fuels could reduce the RAF's reliance on global supply chains, improving operational resilience. The Royal Air Force, we've already certified all of our aeroplanes, our fast jets as well, to use a 50-50 blend. So 50% fossil fuels, 50% sustainable fuels and and uh, you may have picked up that this time last year we flew the then Prince of Wales Prince Charles to on a uh, on a royal flight overseas using a mix with of some sustainable fuel so we're already doing it the issue is actually that there isn't enough capacity in the global production there's only a couple of sites in Europe the UK hasn't got a a uh, production site for sustainable fuel yet that's just in that's just being built now so it's actually a global supply issue rather than anything that's holding us back in terms of our ambition and that lack of supply has an impact on price the sustainable aviation fuel currently costs around twice as much as normal fossil fuels but as for this flight the results were positive no appreciable difference between the sustainable fuel and the normal uh, jet a1 fuel so in, earlier in the campaign we've uh, done test points where we've done it on jet fuel compared it then to saf uh, to sustainable fuel to saf um, we've done i think over the campaign 33 different relights and shut shutdowns and relights of the engines uh, been to all corners of the envelope and, and every occasion exactly the same as far as we can tell the chief of the air staff has set an ambitious target of 2040 for a carbon neutral service. This takes the RAF a step closer to achieving it. Claire Sadler, Forces News, RAF Bryce Norton. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.